First question's from Lawrence. Lawrence's? Morissette. Uh, I use 0.05% tretinoin. tretinoin, and I handle it without a problem. Should I increase the percentage? Can you put it on your body? Great, great questions. Um, we would say that if you are f- with retinoids in general, mm-hmm. you don't necessarily always have to punch up higher and higher mm-hmm. and higher. It can really depend on your skin goals. Mm-hmm. If you're handling okay, um, and if you're using it for acne, are you happy with the progress it's making in acne? Um, are you... I mean, how long have you been on it? I right? feel like you're you're everyone's skin therapist right now. How does how it make you feel? feel? Yeah. How does <laughs> it make happy? your acne feel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and also, how long have you been on 0.05, right? Mm. Like, if you're on 0.05 for three, three weeks and it's like you're tolerating a well, just give it some time, see how skin, how the yeah. efficacy translates over time. If you've been on it for half a year, and you're generally happy with your um, results and your um, your skin status quo, I still don't see a big reason to kick up the percentage Mm -hmm. um you don't always have to go for more but if you feel like okay my breakouts are under control but i think i want to be a little better or you're like Mm -hmm. you know i think my acne is under control but i really want to see more anti-aging benefits you can always talk to your um doctor about um giving you a higher dose prescription and um, try to bump up so that's my take on the percentage part body victoria (laughs) can you put it on your body well i was going to add i think what like i really liked what you said in that I, for some reason, there is something that's like placed in our minds that we need to get that gold, like that golden number of 0.1% tretinoin mm-hmm. to get all the benefits. Mm-hmm. And I just don't believe that's how we should think. No. Right. The idea is that, you know, it's not about that you have a next level you need to get to. It's about how your skin is yeah. like, are you good with the results? It's only when you feel like skin is looking more dull, more mm-hmm. pigmentation, more wrinkles then I feel like that's the the time to be like, okay, let's analyze. So hopefully that's not this person. I don't believe that, but yeah. And for body. (sighs) What part of the body? (laughs) Oh, (laughs) that's a great question. (laughs) What are you trying to target? Also, I thought tretinoin's really expensive. So on full body, that seems expensive. Yeah. But I think it's more like, what's the goal? Mm -hmm. I can definitely see like maybe for neck and chest. Yeah. Um, but holy cow, I hope you sunscreen that area. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't necessarily believe. I don't know. When we looked at like truncal acne and whatnot, um, we did see that these trend knowing can be helpful. But I think it's just important to have a quick like initial mm-hmm. conversation with your derm mm-hmm. before doing that. But otherwise, yeah, I just I'm more cost wise. I kind of have a concern there. Yeah, I don't. I actually haven't looked into um, tretinoin being using other bioparts as much. But I think I once did a uh, search on retinol, mm-hmm. and retinol because it's an anti aging classic. They've tested on like everything they can test yeah. on. Like you've seen it tested for like stretch marks, like other area wrinkles yeah. and things like that. And same thing as phase. Just proceed with caution in terms of irritation, manage expectations, and I will have you guys know what we are formulating in double play because we get a lot of samples with different iterations. For ones that, you know, like that we didn't like, didn't quite fit the bill, that we punted, I don't know what to do with the extra ones. I put it on my butt. So, <laughs> was I expecting anything magical? Not really, but it was kind of like, you know, if Does it helps with the firming. One butt cheek look better than the other? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know if I can talk about it on this podcast, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Next question. This is from Adrian Melanie. Microcurrent devices, do they work? Red light devices. All right. We're just shouting devices. devices. In general. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> uh, okay, we, we recently spoke with someone about this. Um, mm-hmm. The general takeaway from these devices in mm-hmm. general is their in-office counterparts will always be more powerful. Mm-hmm. At home, you can get a certain level of efficacy. It's wildly dependent on the actual device's quality, which mm-hmm. sometimes it's hard to tell just based on, say, price point branding alone. Like, we try to pay attention to the company's clinicals, yeah. data. And last but not least, it's really dependent on yourself mm. whether or not you're consistent with it yeah um uh, we we were gifted the um the solo way recently and i gave it an honest effort and i think i really enjoy it for like smaller precise areas it feels like mm. a nice me time i i do have a hard time working it into my routine very consistently mm. even though their uh, consumer perception has use it daily yeah and they ask you to at least use it every other day basically i have a hard time sticking with it and just know that you need that level of consistency to really see it work yeah and we usually say diligence 
for two months and then evaluate yes. if that's giving you what any, you're looking for. Yeah, the results yeah. you want. So, yeah. And I think some of the, sometimes Gloria and I lament about the device category and that like the price point is so wild. Mm -hmm. It feels sometimes like a worse version of skincare topicals. Like before <sighs> we would talk about how like, oh, like you, you you used to feel like you need to buy an insurance policy, like pay a certain amount to get mm -hmm. a result. I've never felt that more with devices yeah. as well, especially because you can find like a $10 version on Amazon <laughs> and you're like, there's no way, there's yeah. no way, right? Yeah. So I think that's the other really difficult part about this category. But yeah, if you're one that's like really good about your skincare routine and also knows how to prioritize your me time, this might actually be perfect for you. Yeah. For yeah. me, I have learned that I'm not methodical in the way I, I'm. Oh, yeah. I, tell I'm, them about the solo wave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, it, in the actual consumer perception, yeah. they recommend you making sure that you um, touch an area for at least three minutes yeah. and use it on a whole face for like 30 minutes. Does right? it tell you when to like move to the next section? No. Ah, okay. So okay. you're just like, because a new Ooh. face was good about that. Yeah, Do you like, remember? Like they would, it would beep and yeah. then be like, all right, right, right. I got to move. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Soul Wave, at least like, I don't know if they have different versions. The one I got, you just turn on and you just, so you yourself have to be disciplined yeah. and you're not using it because it's a hand handheld device you're not staring to the abyss during the sun mm. you're probably watching tv mm. and i lose track and got to a point where my man if it works really well i'm gonna be so lopsided because <laughs> there's always one side that got a lot more zapped than yeah. the other side so i'm yeah. kind of like <laughs> <laughs> yep that's fair all right let's wrap up with one final question this is from delia adams 814 she asked how do I fade my freckles? I have a lot of freckles. Um, I like your freckles. <laughs> you live with it. Uh, well, okay. First, first thing first, sun protection. Like it's <laughs> yeah. all in the sun. Like there, it doesn't matter the season. Yeah. I will notice my freckles pop a little mm. bit if I get a lot more sun. Mm. And I don't know the level of freckles you have. Freckles, first of all, freckles are in. People have <laughs> tutorials on how to draw fake freckles. Hey, we're back. Yeah. And so just embrace it. And if it's a lot, um, my mom, I, I got my freckles from my mom. My mom, used to get, she had a lot more freckles than me and she hated it because as she got older, she felt like they're starting to look less like freckles, more like age spots mm, as they like develop. Yeah. You can get that lasered off in the office <laughs> if you want it. Because yeah. there's nothing you can, because it's genetic, yeah. right? There's nothing topically you can use to make it completely go away. Yes. It's just stuff to manage it so it doesn't get more yeah. pronounced, but that's it. I think definitely like as, you know, I imagine when I'm like 50, 60, I'll be entertaining a laser procedure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for yeah. sure. 